Hey guys, Kaito over again, picking up right where we left off. Last time we went to the zoo and it sucked real bad. And, uh, yeah, I, according to the file size, I haven't even tried to upload it yet. The uh, previous video was not in 720p, so if the resolution of this uh, fucking 32-bit game bothers you, then sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to try and get it figured out at some point, maybe uh, by the next week's uploads or sometime. I don't know, whenever this set finishes. <laughs> Hopefully by the end of October you'll see a 720p video. But for now we're just gonna go on doing what we did. Do do didn't do do it. Anyway, we're gonna jack in here. Okay. And be welcomed to the zoo comp. The zoo network. Look for the server. Hurry, Mega Man. See, you can tell it's a zoo because everything's covered in pandas. Anyway, so we got some cool blue mystery data. A thousand zenny right off the bat. Mm, that's what I do like. See, that's the shit that I do like. Indeed, do. What do we got? Ooh, two spikies. Okay, because they're kind of like dogs. Okay, I get to show off uh, Metal Man here. Okay. So basically, Metal Man will attack right in front of you, and I don't actually have to. But. While he's kind of paused around, you can move him around all over the screen by uh, pressing the... Oh man, that's so fast. You move him around by pressing the D-pad and what have you. And let's finish him off with this. But yeah, it's a nice 100 damage and he uh, cracks the panel that anyone's standing on. If no one's standing there, then he does break it. Ooh, heat shot. There we go. We finally have that chip. Again, it's like a shotgun except fire. It looks like a cat. Cat program. Woof, woof, woof. It looks like a dog. And it looks like blue mystery data. Money? Get on one. So what get on uh, one's gonna do over here cracks all your panels. Just all the panels? Completely cracked. And if you combine that with a repair chip... <clears throat> Then you... Oh, actually... Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do some science here, bud. Uh, if you combine... Uh, get on with a repair chip, you break all of your opponent's panels, fix all of your own, and then they're stuck, you know, kind of just shitting around. So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do... This. And because Mailman's here... Oh... Oh, I think maybe you have to hold in the button. Oh, I'm sorry. I fucked up. Basically, a cool thing that he can do is he can actually break through a guard. I deserve everything that I'm receiving right now, so I'm just gonna real quick do this. Flashman. But yeah, he can break through guards, which... In this game, we didn't actually have the break element chips. So that's the difference. Yeah, I deserve that. I deserve everything bad that's happened to me. Squeak, squeak! A mouse virus is blocking the way. Maybe we can move it by bringing something here. Meow. It's a cat. Take it with you. Yeah. So that's the gimmick of this stage. Is you're gonna go around the entire area doing this kind of uh, program switcherooing thing, even though we could just fight the viruses and be a lot easier. Oink, oink, oink. It's a pig. Yeah. And you can't carry too many programs with you at once. I think you can only carry the same number as there are viruses. So that's uh, kind of the difference there. Okay, let's try this again, but less uh, sucking on my part. Okay, yeah, so you do have to hold in the A button. But, yeah, that way he will move. Anyway, so now we have... Oh, perfect. Goods, man. 
smash. Bring down the hammer, guts man. Mm. And a guard. Guard does not improve at any point, so... Eh. No use worrying about it. You can tell if a chip improves if it has, like, a... Well, I was gonna say if it has a 1 in its name, but that is true. But, like Shockwave, uh, they will improve other ways, too. Alright, so what's the virus we're trying... Ooh, blue. Blue mystery data, I like that. Can we not, though? Like, do we have to? Could we perhaps not? Anyway, you move the yellow square to the square you want him to be in, and it will attack the one then in front of that. I'm gonna sit here because I don't like Ratons. Okay, now he's at half health. Ooh, Flashman, don't mind if I do. Is that gonna be like the running meme of the series that I just hate Ratons? Because if so, hey, that's, that's fine. Anyway, there's our chip. You basically just throw out the little projectiles, uh, which is fine. Ooh, HP memory! That's an uplifting thing. 260 already, my god. But you just throw out a little rat on, and that's all it is. A frog. Bring it something it hates. What do we have? Wiggle wiggle. It's an eel. Well, I'm pretty sure frogs don't like eels, but I don't think that's the right one. Hiss hiss. It's a snake. Yeah, I don't think frogs like snakes at all. I do. Hiss. Get him. Get him, get him. I wonder what the onomatopoeia is for snakes in Japan. Alright, and that was Zoo Comp 1, now to Zoo Comp 2, which is elephant themed. It's the same shit. Oh man. What's it gonna be? We have to go through. No, nope, no, nope. I thought we had to pick one. Anyway. Nibble Nibble. A rabbit. He seems so lonely. <laughs> so, wait. Hold on. Let me, uh, kind of think through this one a little bit more. Uh, so the virus is lonely, so what we're going to do is we're going- Ooh, that counted as a counter? I thought you had to use chips. Damn, here comes three bug frags. So he's lonely, so we're gonna get a rabbit. And it's gonna blow him up? But we were trying to, like, help him. Got so happy it exploded. This game. Blue, 600. Well, we're certainly earning money. And so I'm playing Grand Theft Auto! Oh, I thought it was a chicken. Okay, coconut. Spiky Boomer. Uh, ooh, where are we gonna... Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Uh, let's do this again with more fun things, I guess. Oh, boy. Anyway, that's what Spreader does. It just kind of attacks in a kind of like all adjacent patterns thing. Oh, come on. Damn it. As you can tell, I'm not doing like super hot uh, in game and real life. What do we got? Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe he's hungry. Oh, there's a coconut. So there's probably banana. Banana, na, 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 na. Sure. I'm pretty sure gorillas eat something else, but banana, na, 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 na. Greedily eats the banana. Wait, he ate it? He he ate the program. Oh, oh no. That would be a bad thing. I wouldn't like to watch a Matar eat a frog. Boing boing. It's a ball. What do we got? Ook ook ook. Sea lion? Looks a little bit bored. Uh, what do sea lions like? They like balls. They like to bounce balls. 
Zilanvars is playing with the ball program. He played so hard that he exploded. I remember not liking this part as a kid, but this is good. A clam. What should we do? How do we open up the clam? Not with copy damage. Urk, urk. It's a seal. No, I think maybe one otter? Splish, splish. It's an otter. Oh, man. Because otters will break clams open. Trick clack. Otter clams smash the virus until it exploded. All right, this is a fun, this is a fun thing. There's a similar kind of puzzle in Battle Network 4, the next game in the series, that uh, I very much do not like. But this is fun. Creek. A tree is blocking the way. It won't budge, not an inch. Do we need an axe program? Beetle. Okay, see, so the thing here is the Emerald Ash Borer would be an effective beetle program against this, but I don't think uh, Emerald Ash Borers were necessarily as big of a concern uh, at the time. Oh, Recover 30. So I don't think that's going to be the answer, even though it would be acceptable. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, so this boomer cannot hit us at all whatsoever, so we are perfectly safe for the entire duration of whatever we do here. Oh, I can show off that ring. Later iterations of the boomer virus are able to just kind of shoot a thing down the middle. The ring zap ring is a slow moving projectile that does not very much damage, but if it hits, it does stun, which is pretty cool. Peck, 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 it's a woodpecker. So let's take the woodpecker. Because I guess, I don't know, woodpeckers destroy trees? Okay, good. That wasn't the answer. Wait. Chomp, chomp, chomp. It's a beaver. Okay, alright. I mean, all three of these things do destroy trees in their own ways. He got fucking eight until he exploded. There he goes. Ooh, blue. Give me that. 800 zenny. I hope you like the save noise, because if you've not noticed from other points this week, I use it a lot. Okay, what do we got? Grr! Two panda-like viruses are blocking the way. One looks hungry, and the other looks bored. Russell, Russell, bamboo. Yeah, we'll take that for the hungry boy. Roll, roll, roll. It's a tire. Uh, those are both good options. Let's take some blue mystery data, too. Sneak run? That's important! Okay. Weak enemies stop appearing. So that's actually super useful. Whoop, nope. Uh, and we can put it in there, and it fits all of our stuff. <clears throat> so the sneak run subchip, not even useful anymore. At least, uh, not while we're dealing with this right here. Once we get uh, better programs to put in the customizer, we're not going to have the correct room to really do that anymore, so just for the time being, no more weak viruses. So whenever we have to go through ACDC Town for backtracking reasons, uh, we won't hopefully be bothered with very many uh, annoying bits and bobs of data. Okay, so here's a fun thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we won't be annoyed by very many viruses. Okay, let's do this. So there's a hole there, so I do need him to be right there. Perfect. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting a chip from this one. Oh. Uh, single bomb. Okay. So let's see. Throws a big bomb, explodes. Big bomb, three squares. So I think what that's going to end up doing is exploding in a line pattern. Um, how the mini bomb only exploded on one square, because this is the next step up from that, uh, it explodes into adjacent squares. There are then further increases to this one, which we will see later on. Panavirus 1 ate the boom boo, but he ate so much that he exploded! Panavirus 2 is playing with the tire! He played so much that he exploded! So good, so good. So good. Oh, by the way, we're in 
3, and it's covered in birds. I didn't even notice the transition. There's got to be some blue mystery data around here somewhere. That's what we're looking for. Uh, okay, this is gonna... Uh, I don't have anything good to hurt him with, so I'm just gonna run. Hopefully. Yes, we got away. Okay, what's our virus for today? Quick, quick, quick. Mongoose. Oh, see, waiting for a rival. Hiss, piss, piss. Tree snake. Wait. Are there other kinds of snakes? Shellfish. No. Is there a cobra? There we are. Cobra. That's what we wanted. Ricky Dicky Dobby. Ricky Dicky Doggo. Just when it looked like the mongoose virus was a win, the cobra got the upper hand. The mongoose exploded. Did you hear about the player who tried to fight the program? He was destroyed. <clears throat> jar, jar, jar. A heavy jar-like bar is his. An unsatisfied jar. It's an octopus. These are weird... Per these are weird puzzles. The octopus type program is getting bigger than the jar virus. The octopus pushed the jar virus until it exploded. So that's some good shit. And that's a little bit further than I want to go. I'm going to backtrack real quick. Uh, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because we did go through like a path that I don't think we really wanted to. Uh, God, I really hate my folder, honestly. Anyway, see so these boulders here? Uh, very thick. Very hard to kind of get through. Ooh, that's some good shit right there. Metal Man yo-yo? Yeah, okay, let's do the yo-yo. Uh, okay. Yep, okay, so that single bomb is going to explode in a line pattern. There we go. Yeah, so the rocks are very damaging. For some reason, I thought the yo-yo would pass through it, but I was incorrect on that one. Okay. Real quick to save. For reasons. Um... Oh, no, really? Oh, did I fuck up? Yeah, it looks like I fucked up. Uh... Oh, panel grab and uh, this. Panel grab, that, that, that. Okay, this should be it. And I don't think he can escape. There we go. Anyway, now we can shoot him in the mouth. Cool, we might actually get a chip from that. Nope. Just any. 150. So is there anything up here? Nope. Nope. Oh man, I really just wasted everyone's time, huh? Oh well. Um. All right, let's try this. Oh, you shits! <laughs> Ooh, okay, Flash Man. Uh, this should do some. Flash. Ah. And he is stunned. Oh, and it counted as a counter. Cool. Hmm. So I guess it's if they die in the counter state, even if it's, you know, just by Buster it counts. Um, cool. Anyway, time for Comp 4, which is covered in leopards. You know we're going back to Scilab to get the other junk that we're missing, right? Oop, oop, oop. Crackle crunch. A monkey-like virus is chomping on a peanut-like virus. They won't budge. What can we do to move them? Hey, jerk. Hey, jerk. Huh? What type of virus? Oh, it's a parrot. Okay. How can we remove the parrot? Hmm. That's a good one. So, let's see. Now... Okay, yeah. We, won't, we don't have enough room for everything. And not only that, we really can't, like, fit this anywhere. So let's try removing the sneak run. Uh, 
remove everything, honestly. Put our undershirt back in. Put our that in. Put attack one in and this. No. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. Oh well. Is where the where the shot. Where's Sneak Run again? Oh, poop. Um, yeah, I think this is the setup that we had. Yeah, so we could put that there, but we're gonna get a bug because it's the wrong type to put on that uh, spot there. So, what does that tell you? It tells you that we're gonna get upgrades to this area! Not very many. There are two in the game, but... They're cool, and I like them. They are, I think, THE number one upgrade yet, because there's only two of them. <clears throat> yes, quit the... quit the customizer. Anyway. Motherfucker. Mm, beetles and spikies. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay, uh, Metal Man. Oh, L. Well, that was pretty good. Oh, man. Sometimes things just work out. So, let's do this. There we go. Ain't that grand? Ooh! Okay, so this is another thing you can get. Instead of Zenny or... Oop. Momo. What are you doing down there? Come here. Instead of Zenny or Chips or Bug Frags, you can get uh, Health, um, which the game kind of awards you whenever you're getting particularly low, I guess. Hey, anyway, while we're listening to this, I'm going to, oh, appropriately cat-themed page. Momo. I'm going to show you my big fat cat. <clears throat> this is Momo. Everyone say hi to Momo. Hi, Momo. She likes to scream a lot. Uh, that's kind of her main thing, is she's very... Not very fat, but she's fat. And she screams. And if you ever hear her during a recording, it's because she likes to hang out underneath my desk here. Or on the bed. Oop. Okay, you're very sharp. Very sharp cat. Okay, okay, go that way. Good cat. Good needs trimmed claws cat. You're cutting me. Anyway. Tongue twister. Yep, we're gonna take that for the parrot. It bit its tongue and exploded. Crack crack bang. Chestnut. No. Crack crunch. A walnut. No. Crackle crunch. It's a peanut. Okay, let's see. Let's take the peanut, and maybe we can distract the other guy? Oh, well, not that one then, I guess. So what's over here? Bad mouthing? Oh, that's not good. Nonsense. Okay, so none of that's going to distract uh, the monkey. So we're going to need two programs here. Hey, what if we didn't, though? Hey, what if we just didn't deal with the, with the Raton, actually? <clears throat> I like not dealing with the Raton. Anyway, so while we're invisible, we can just sit here, hamming our leg. See? Good shit, right? Eh. At least until the point where we get Zenny for it. So... Walnut. Walnut, chestnut, peanut. Walnut, peanut, pineapple smell. Um, 
Mm. The feast of nut-like programs is too much for the monkey. He overeats and explodes, taking the programs with him. The way is now open for you to pass. This fucking game. No, there's no blue there, so we don't have to go that way. What about down here? So there is. Hammer T. So Hammer is basically just like Metal Man, but like a regular chip, and you can't move. So basically just right in front of you, boom, hammer, and I think it just straight up breaks the square. Also, oh, that's what I was going to say earlier. Uh, Metal Man and this hammer are both break element chips, which wasn't introduced until Battle Network 4. They're chips that can break through guards. They don't have any sort of elemental weakness or strength, it's just they can break through guards. Okay. Oh well. Uh, invisibility... Okay. I don't know why I did that. See, you see this whole thing? Uh, how much of a mess it is? What if we just... didn't, though? See why I like Flashman so much? Just don't even gotta deal with it. Just, they're done, they're gone. Oh, what do we got? Cat, lion, blank. Bull, lamb, blank. Wolf, fox, blank. Cat, wait. Cat, lion, bull, lamb, wolf, fox. We already did cat lion. Cats, lions, and tigers. Okay. Cat. No. Woof woof. It's a dog. No. Not yet, anyway. <clears throat> uh. See, here's the thing about invisibility. It's good, but it kind of blocks out these guard chips that I've been carefully cultivating. So there's no real point to doing them. Okay. There you go. <clears throat> and Zenny for our trouble, of course. Caw, caw. No. Pheasant, no. Ba, ba, sheep. There we go. And now we're gonna go take the dog. Bow, bow. Bow, bow. Bow. Bow, bow. And let's see if that works. Cat, lion, tiger. Wool, lamb, sheep. Wolf, fox, dog. Overjoyed with their three completed sets, the three viruses exploded. As they oft do. By the way, this series has been reusing. Oh, no oh shit. Okay, do we have any. No mini energies. No way to increase our HP. And yet, <clears throat> here is the boss. Let's go. <clears throat> is that a virus? No. It looks like one, but that's a Navi. <clears throat> Wild thing. Oh, so you found me out. I'd hoping, I was hoping you'd get closer to my ripping claws. But I guess you're a bit smarter than you look. You'll never fool net battlers like us. Oh, how cute. But I hate you nosy human-shaped Navis. You're always so arrogant, always looking down on us. Beastman, enough chatter. Hurry up and delete it. How can you call yourself a zookeeper and still do this? <laughs> I'm no zookeeper. I'm a World 3 member. Stupid. Got it. The World 3? But Wily is supposed to be dead. <laughs> Wily doesn't die that easily. He's gathered us together and built an all new World 3. The third one, because we keep disbanding it and it keeps coming back. <clears throat> But enough of that, beast man. Can you hear me? You delete that, Navi. I'll use the animals to get the kids. 
Or he doesn't play nice, does he? Now, boy, take the call of the wild to your grave. Urgh. Beast man, he's strong man. He's strong man. I don't want to fight the man. Uh, we're going to do this. So beast man has uh, some shit that he does. It's mostly that. Yep, that's the shit that he does. I don't like the shit that he does. It's not good stuff for my for my delicate sensibilities. So what we're gonna do is this, and hopefully he gets stranded. Yeah, he does this diagonal thing that I'm just not very good at avoiding. Okay, Gutsman not useful currently. This is. Okay, so we kind of stun him a little bit. So I basically just kind of want to bait him into doing... Oh, that was a misclick. But yeah, we want to bait him into doing that diagonal thing he do. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try... Wide Swords? Oh, nope, nope, that's the strong one. Okay, I'm gonna... Maybe die around here, huh? Uh, unless Gutsman saves me? Gutsman, please? As you can tell, I'm not, like, super great at fighting some of these dudes, you know? Nope! Okay, not what I wanted. There we go. Destroyed. And 2,000 gold. Busting level 1. I didn't do a good job. Yeah, Beastman was always really hard for me. And I don't like his chips either. That fool losing a battle by trying to show off. You're the operator! Now... You can't control the animals anymore. Whoop, gotta run! Well, at least I got the second Tetra Code. Wily will be happy. Time to run. You already said that? Wait, are you serious about Wily being alive, though? Click. Aw, oh, too bad. You cut the connection. You can worry about the world through later. Shao comes first. Let's go check on everyone. Still up there, hanging out with the Condor. Not really in any danger. Quack! I don't think that's the sound Condors make, though. Quack, huh? I'm falling. Help me. Oh, wait, I'm not using his voice. Watch out. I'm falling. Help me, what a... Big bro! This is our introduction to this? So that was Proof of Courage, which is my favorite song in the series, and it was introduced to us in this game, it's in every game, by Dex saving Chisau. Oh man. Ooh. <sighs> Fuck. Proof of Courage is supposed to be kind of like the badass anti-crisis music, where it's like, this is the coolest shit in the game. Like, this is... This is when you're doing that really good stuff. And yes, that is an appropriate moment, but did it have to be introduced with Chisau in the frame? She's looking to take you to Natopia? Yeah, I'm surprised myself. So you're leaving? No, don't worry. Somebody's gotta stick around as boss of ACD Elementary. I hate to disappoint Chisau and my father, though. Well, don't let me keep you here. So what happened to Giselle? He got homesick and went back to Natopia yesterday. Hopefully he stays there. I don't think he does, but I hope so. I'm sorry for all the trouble he caused you guys. 
Please accept my apologies. It was nothing. Yeah, I think it's sweet the way you two are so close. Really? Ha <laughs> I guess we are. I feel pretty good now, like I can take on the World 3 alone. No, you can't. Maybe you should try to become the number one net battler first. I'll get you for that, you little... I'm... I'm gonna... Ah! I'm threatening a small child with physical violence. Hey, here he is. Motherfucking Wily. <coughs> Ow. I've already deleted two <coughs> of my knobbies. <coughs> I'll get you, Lan, and your little knobby, too. At least I have the second Tetra Code now. Only two more to go before I can finally initiate... Cybergeddon! And destroy all the panels in the world. <laughs> hey, Wee's gasped. Hey, he's totally in line with me. Fuck. <laughs> <coughs> and this time I'm ready for anything. As long as he's on my side, Mega Man can never stop me. <laughs> Who he? Friday, one month after the zoo incident. Burm, burm, burm. Thus, compression for refers to the act of shrinking a large amount of data by utilizing the program's power. Shrinking data allows you to send and save even more data. Scilab quickly processes massive amounts of data on a daily basis by using compression. Miss Mari, can Mega Man be compressed too? I suppose he could be, but it would require some specialized processing. It wouldn't be easy. Oh man, I wish it were easy. Then when he tells me to do my homework, I could shrink him to the size of a bean! Oh, you just got a freaking bean, son! Lan, I just, uh, who'd you... Wait, just who'd you shrink to the bean? I knew it. So that's how you feel about me. Fine. Go ahead and wake up by yourself tomorrow. See what I care. Just kidding, Mega Man. I'd never do that. Really? I promise. Please, come on, wake me up tomorrow, okay? Oh, alright. Ding dong, ding dong. Oh man, I wasn't gonna do Adam on PS for Bells. Oh. <laughs> Very well then. That's it for today. Just because tomorrow's Saturday, though, doesn't mean you shouldn't do your homework. See you next week. Goodbye, Miss Mari. Alright, no school tomorrow. What should we do? How about get into trouble? I don't know, let's see what everyone else is doing. But first and more importantly, that's a motherfucking good stopping point, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, I'll catch you back some other time. Uh, this is Kaitober, and fucking have at it, buddies. Good day to all y'all.